This video is a supplement to the instruction manual. Read the 538i manual first and refer to it while servicing your gauge. Copies of the manual can be found at the Clark Reliance website. Clark Reliance requires the use of OEM parts for all repairs on this product in order to protect the warranty, maintain plant and personnel safety, and maximize reliable operation. We're going to show how to install replacement part number PW24BR modules on P3000 and P3100 series gauges. If you have a P4000 or P4100, there's a different video. Please contact us or go to our website for more information. You'll need a calibrated torque wrench with a 1 and 7 8 inch socket, special pliers, two types of lubricants as shown or their equal, a 1 inch diameter stainless steel shank mounted brush mounted on a drill, rags, and a small brass brush. Before touching the gauge, shut off the steam and water gauge valves. Open the drain valve to relieve any pressure. Using a 1 and 7 8 inch socket, remove the packing nut from the gauge body. Using the special pliers, remove the old glass module. Discard the old glass, as recommended for all glass gauge repair applications on or off the boiler. Thoroughly clean the inside of the module using a stainless steel wire brush. Wipe the recess to make sure the bottom is perfectly clean and smooth. Proper cleaning of both male and female threads is a major concern and is essential. Rusted threads may give you a false torque reading when you reassemble the gauge. Inspect the gasket surface that is the bottom of the recess. If the surface is cut or gouged, you must replace that part of the gauge body. Contact your local Clark Reliance representative for further assistance. Wrap the nut open side down to dislodge the spring retainer and Belleville washers. Save the spring retainer. Clean the Belleville spring washers. Depending on your unit, you may have two, six, or eight spring washers. Inspect them for cracks, pitting, or corrosion. If the washers are damaged, they must be replaced because the spring function is critical. Use the brush on a drill to clean the threads in the packing nut, followed up by the brass brush. If any threads are damaged, the packing nut must be replaced. Relubricate all spring washers with the nickel based anti seize. Nest the Belleville washers together and put them in the nut. Most newer gauges have two washers, however some gauges have six or eight. Refer to the written instructions for the correct placement of six or eight washers. Replace the spring retainer, making sure it is fully seated. Slightly lubricate it with the copper-based anti-seize. Use the brass brush to clean the body threads and wipe them with a rag. Lubricate the body threads with copper-based lubricant. Inspect the new glass module to assure the gasket is centered. The custom-engineered gasket employs high-density graphite to resist cold flowing. Align the lugs and make sure the dimples are not aligned with the slots. Place the new glass module in the body. Reliance uses V1 grade 30 mil mica, the best available to extend gauge life. Finger tighten the packing nut. Use a calibrated torque wrench to tighten the nut to 140 foot pounds if your unit has two washers. If your gauge has six or eight washers, Refer to the printed instructions for proper torque. Crack open the shutoff valves. The drain valve must remain open. Allow the gauge to reach operating temperature for about 5 minutes. Close the shutoff valves. Retorque the packing nuts to the specified torque. 
Open the shutoff valves and close the drain to place the gauge in service. Before replacing the viewing hood, make sure that the viewing side of the gauge body is angling to the left. OEM Simplaport replacement parts can be ordered directly from Clark Reliance or may be obtained from your local Clark Reliance sales or service center to keep your equipment in top performance for longer service.